twig. If you're one who cares and you like to share, you and a pet may be the perfect pair. Take a tip from Twig, it could all come true. Better tell you what you're gonna have to do. You need to learn the things the Twig tells you to. And maybe then you'll find the pet just right for you. Hi, I'm Twig. Are you looking for a pet? You can determine what kind of pet is best for you and your family by visiting a shelter. Which pet grabs your attention? How are you? Well, sometimes the best pet for you is not always the first pet you see. While puppies are fun, sometimes getting an older pet is just as fun too. Older pets are often trained and well behaved and they can be nice for people who are looking for a calmer pet. But don't just think of dogs and cats. Other pets can be fun too. You should never adopt a pet without knowing how it will react to you and your family members. You must determine if the pet will need to get along with current animals in your home. Make sure you have what you need before picking up your pet. For example, you'll need a leash to take the dog home or a carrier for a cat. It's okay to not have a pet too, y'all. A lot of people are allergic to animal fur, so be careful when deciding on a pet if you have family members who might have a crazy reaction. Money, space, and time are all huge commitments when owning a pet. If you are not able to own a pet for any of these reasons, there are always other ways to help. You could pet sit for your family and friends, which is a short-term commitment and it helps get you ready for your own pet ownership adventure. There are many things that you can do for your pets that will make them feel loved. Right, Quinn? Right. There are some things that need to be done in order to give your pet the best life possible. Pets take a lot of work <sighs> and are a huge responsibility. You need to feed them a specific amount and give them fresh water throughout the day. Pets need to visit the vet. They need checkups, just like you. The vet can spay or neuter your pet too. Go with your parents to the vet to learn more. Brushing your pet and making sure they are properly groomed is important for their health. If you have an outside dog or cat, make sure they have an outside home for when there is bad weather. Remember, animals have feelings too. Make sure you treat them how you would want to be treated. That's the golden rule. Quinn was right. The golden rule applies to animals too, but it's not just companion animals. You also need to know what to do when you see a loose animal. There are many strategies that can help you stay safe around unknown animals. When dealing with dogs that might be dangerous, one thing you can do is stand like a tree. This reminds me of what happened to my friends, Connor and Gordon. Lots of folks think I'm scary because I'm so big. Kids think they can run up to Gordon here because he's so small and funny looking. But Gordon's a little whippersnapper and might jump on you or bite him if you get him too excited. The best thing you can do with loose dogs you don't know is stand like a tree. Stand with your feet planted, your arms at your side, and don't look the dog in the eye. Connor's friend Tiger is in training, so he has a yellow bandana on his leash. If you ever see a dog with a yellow bandana tied around his leash, this shows that the dog is not safe to approach. It could have health issues or be scared around other dogs or people. If you see a dog you'd like to get to know, it's important to get permission before petting the dog. My friend Ollie knows all about meeting new people. There are certain steps you should take when you want to pet a dog. First, curl your hand into a closed fist with the back of your hand facing upward. Then, extend your hand slowly to the dog. After the dog has sniffed your hand and become familiar with you, pet it gently under the chin or chest. You see, just like you recognize others by sight, we recognize others by scent. We sure do, Ollie. It's always okay to speak out when you are uncomfortable about seeing or interacting with a stray animal. This reminds me of my friend Marge from Minnesota. Back home in Minnesota, I had a hard time without a family. It's important to know that parents, teachers, neighbors, or other trusted adults will listen to what you have to say if you see an animal in need. There's a difference between getting someone in trouble and getting someone out of trouble. It's not tattling if you see something that's wrong. You're helping save a life. I hope you've learned a lot from my friends. 
The most important thing about having a pet is to have fun with your pet. Dogs are typically more active than cats. Dogs like to go swimming, go on walks, and play games like fetch or tug of war. There are also a lot of competitions that involve training and competing with your dog, such as obedience and agility. Cats like to play and need exercise too, don't you know? Cats like laser pointers, toy mice, feathers, scratching posts, and my personal favorite is playing in boxes. Pets are always there for you if you need someone to talk to. They're the best listeners and they can be your best friends. Pets love exercise and playing, but above all, they need to be loved, just like you. I love you, Twig. <laughs>